I'm your host, Logan 23 you're joining me for Gold Rush Chapter 13. You sprout as you pitch backwards into the fountain, your hands scrabbling against slimy tile and discarded coins. Moments later, Ryan is dragging you back out of the water. Are you okay? I think so. He guides you away from the fountain as the paparazzo snaps another picture. Ryan, Drew, I have some questions for you! What the hell is wrong with you? Leave us alone! Does no one know about this? Nani will soon! Is this guy serious? You should just ignore him. Grit your teeth and turn away before he can get more photos of your face. Aw, oh, no quote to go with the photos? Shake your head, refusing to let him goad you into replying. Ryan hurries you away, shooting a glare over his shoulder at the paparazzo. What does he think he is, some kind of paparazzi supervillain? He yanks out his phone and shoots off a quick text. I told Noah to meet us in the parking lot. Let's get out of here. What are we going to do about the photos? Don't worry about that right now. Puts his arm around you as you hurry to the parking lot. The others are waiting for by Brendan's car. Chloe gasps when she sees you. Wait, why are you all wet? Fell in a fountain. Long story. Climb into the driver's seat, shivering in your wet clothes. Ryan gets in next to you while Dallin squeezes in the back. It's going to be alright, Iris. Change into dry clothes as soon as you get home. Then the seven of you head down to the basement to hold an emergency meeting. Get comfortable, everyone. We might be here for a while. You sink onto the couch with Ryan on one side and Chloe on the other. You glance at Ryan, startled, as he reaches over and tucks something into your lap. What the? You look down at your lap. A stuffed raccoon stares up at you with soulful, beady eyes. Ryan, when did you buy this? Ryan flashes you an impossibly white-toothed grin. A rock star never reveals his secrets. He stole it. He must have bought it in a secret when we split apart at the toy store. Or he stole it. That's really sweet of him. You hug the raccoon in your chest, flashing Ryan a grateful smile. Thanks. Your pleasant buzz evaporates when you remember what you're here for. Right, the paparazzo. The rest of the boys sit on the floor or lean against the wall. I can't believe this is happening. I'm so sorry, Iris. I, I didn't think something like this would happen. Noah looks even more devastated than you. It's not your fault. It's a little his fault. Arguing isn't going to fix anything. Brendan sighs and claps his hands together. So what's the plan? Well... Do we think he'll post photos online? Chloe shakes her head as she scrolls through her phone. Nothing on the big fan sites. Nothing on Facebook. Nothing on Twitter. She shows you her phone to smiles reassuringly. Probably wants to sell the photos to a tabloid. Well, that gives us some time to do damage control. Damage control? What could we possibly do? Contact the tabloids first? Maybe we can reason with them? <laughs> it's our job to sell trashy articles, Iris. They won't listen to us. Well, I want to argue with him, but he's right. So I'm screwed. I'm going to be known as the school whore. Ah, uh, seriously? For dating two guys? Yeah, actually. Hell, for dating one and just someone insinuates they did you while behind that person's back, you're the school person. Like, seriously, that's, that's how... It's always been. When I was in school, that's how it was. I'm sure it's even worse now. Nah. Throw the stuffed raccoon at his head, but he catches it. At the same time, from the most famous band? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess it does look pretty bad. It's also the raccoon back to you. What if we just all, uh, uh, post all over our accounts that you and I broke up? It'll look like I switched to Ryan pretty quickly, won't it? Um, either I'll still look like a homewrecker, or Iris will look like a fickle. Something tells me people will side with the pretty boy musicians, Ryan. We could spin it differently. We say that I kissed you, and you were shocked. That is a terrible idea. You'd look like a total monster. He gives you a weak smile and manages a small shrug. It takes some of the heat off of you, doesn't it? There has to be a better option. 
groan and rub your temples as the boys start bickering over ideas. Dallin snaps his fingers at them and they fall silent. What about our collaboration? Is that really the time to worry about that? No. I mean using it to distract people. Brian sighs and flops backwards against the cushions. I don't know if I can write and compose that fast, do you? Nope. Maybe we can just make the announcement? Bury the photos in band news? What if you did a cover? The boys all soon consider the idea and then shake their heads. I don't think people would care enough. We need something original. Maybe we could... Maybe we have an old demo we could work with? We're just assuming it'll distract people with a big scandal. I don't know what the other options are we have. Noah's fingers knit together in his lap. He stares miserably up at you from his position cross-legged on the floor. We could just come clean. I could come out myself and tell people it's all fake. No, uh... I'm pretty sure headlines about me being gay will spread pretty fast. You know, I, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I'm a straight guy and I feel bad for him. You should be able to come out on your own terms when you're feeling comfortable with it. And I understand he kind of was procrastinating as goddamn much as he could, but you know what I'm saying. Before you can say anything, Brennan snaps his fingers. Oh, I get it. I get it now. That makes a lot of sense. What? You thought your sister was fake dating a straight guy? I'm glad my impeding humiliation could bring us closer together. <laughs> oh my god, I love her attitude. Holy shit. Man. Chloe hugs you as you try to keep it together. And you hug your stuffed raccoon. The last thing I need to do is cry in front of everyone. That would really be the crap icing on the garbage day. Ah, uh, seriously. I can start tweeting right now. I have the rainbow emoji primed. You know what? <sighs> like I said, I feel bad for the guy. I really do. Um... I don't know if it would work. Oh, man. What would I do? Let's just say right now I wanted to announce to everybody I'm gay. What would you do? Shit. Um. But you're doing it under duress, though. I mean, you're you're that's the problem. You're doing it under duress. I mean, there's been people who have done it before. They've just been like, you know what? Screw this. I'm gay. And it's like, what? Wait, what? <laughs> like, what, wait, what, what? Um, you should do it. Screw it. Iris. No, I get it. Iris never wanted to do this in the first place. It's still not the right answer. We'll figure something else out. He's right. What was I thinking? No, it's my friend. Yeah, and your friend threw you under the bus, though. Let's be honest. Let's be honest right now. Your friend threw you under the bus to begin with. It doesn't matter if he's partly responsible. I can't punish him by forcing him to come out himself to his fans. I'm sorry. I'm just scared. Brian shoots you a look of concern. We'll figure something out, Iris. Wow. Wow, they used the sound effect from AOL. <laughs> well, someone has logged on. You hear the door open at the top of the stairs, and your mother's voice drifts down to you. Iris, you should get going soon. I don't want you driving home in the dark. We will. Brendan holds out his phone to Ryan. Put your number in here. I'll text you about the collaboration. Ryan hastily adds his contact information while the others clamber to their feet. Ooh, excuse me, yawn. <clears throat> I'll drive, Iris. You deserve a break. You almost protest, but then standing like a Herculean task. Thanks, Chloe. 
the five of you say your goodbyes and pile on into your car. Luke finally gets to sit in the front seat as Noah and Ryan join you in the back. I can't believe you'd sit on the hump for me. I'm a gentleman. You can lean on me if you want. You look half asleep. I'm exhausted. I should... Uh, I am exhausted. Decline. I'm not really in the mood. Hey, that's okay. Whatever you need. You smile gratefully at him and settle in your seat. Thanks for understanding. Of course. Just try to get some rest. Easier said than done. Well, think of something, Mars. Maybe if the band just acts like it's stupid rumors, nothing will happen. No, they literally have pictures of them kissing. That seems a little optimistic. Chloe shrugs, smiling cheerfully at you in the rearview mirror. If the gossip was true, wouldn't Gold fight or break up? If everyone at school sees they're still friends, they might ignore it. I think you're putting a lot of faith in how reasonable, angry fangirls can be. Yeah, they're gonna tear your ass a new one. Close your eyes and sigh. You don't mean to fall asleep, but when you open your eyes again, you're in school. In the school parking lot, no less, and it's dark out. Hey, my Chloe already went back to her room. We should get going, too. Limo's waiting. Oh, right. Realize that Ryan has his arm around you, and that you were drooling on his shoulder. Crap, sorry. Don't worry about it. You were exhausted. Besides, it was kind of cute. You untangle yourself from Ryan and slowly step out of the car. You're a little unsteady on your feet, but Ryan takes your arm. Here. He offers you the stuffed raccoon, and you smile and tuck it under one arm. I'll walk you back to your room. Are you sure? I want to know you're safe. The limo can circle the block or something. You nod and let him lead you, him off, and cutting through the football field on your way to the dorms. Hey, Ryan. Yeah? Thanks for looking out for me. He sighs and nods, furrowing his brow. It feels like the least I could do. It's easier to blame Noah, but I got you into this mess, too. What? I kissed you in public, Iris. It, it kind of was a dumb move. Yeah. Yeah, but... That's what living in the moment is, you know? Nothing wrong with that. Fish your keys out of your pocket and lead him onto the dorm building. You think I regret it? Or don't regret it, do you? What, the kiss? You nod, anxiously fiddling with the ears of your raccoon. Do you? Oh, come on! Don't answer one, don't answer a question with a question. And two, ah, oh, damn it. You know what, we got 269. Let's just go ahead. We haven't done a diamond edition in a couple of videos. We spent a di 100 diamonds, though, earlier today, so. But let's just go ahead and do now. I hate that this happened, but no, I don't regret it. Relief spreads over him, relaxing his shoulders and brightening his smile. Good. He swoops in for a light peck on your cheek, and you blush. I don't either, for the record. Your blush deepens. I better change the subject now before this gets out of hand. Do you think Noah will tell people what happened? Ryan shrugs and falling in a step beside you as you lead him down the hall. I don't know. I like to think he will, but I can't pressure him. I know. I wouldn't want to either. Ryan chuckles to himself. What is it? I could use a laugh. If he does, come out. It's gonna spark a even more fan fiction. Fan fiction? You know, stories people write about the band. You laugh and shake your head as you arrive at the door to your room. I know what fan fiction is. I just didn't know people wrote it about real people. Oh, Jesus Christ, yes. Yes, they do. 
Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. What? Nothing. Shut up. Let's move on. Oh, yeah. Done. So apparently a lot of people want to see me and Lucas. <laughs> if only we had photos of that, we could really distract the media. I think Chloe would have a meltdown. But if you try to stifle your laughter, I should probably get some proper sleep. Do you want me to stay with you? you raise your eyebrows. Uh, just for company. I'm exhausted too. Oh, you son of a... We should have saved the diamonds for that. That's what we should have saved the diamonds for. <sighs> no, don't worry about me. I guess that's my cue to leave. You unlock your door, Ryan watches you with a small smile on his lips. I kind of want to kiss you goodnight. But I feel like a paparazzo would burst out of the elevator. I have no idea how you guys deal with it all the time. Ryan waves a hand dismissively. It's not usually that bad. I've heard about them flipping off the ruins, the photo, but that's not that great for that, our, our image. Now you tell me. It probably would have improved mine in the long run. Without war warning, Ryan leans forward and presses a kiss to your forehead. How's that? I guess that'll do. He gently takes the stuffed raccoon and waves its paw at you, speaking in the squeaky voice again. Uh, oh god, not this again. Let's. Oh god, hold on. Hey, this voice! Jesus Christ! Because he's, he's this. And then I'm trying to think of how this sounds <laughs> if he squeaks. <laughs> I knew, because one of our, my Discord members was laughing at me, and they're like, I can't wait to hear you do a raccoon voice, and I didn't get it. And by God, now I get it. Um, I mean, this is part of voice acting, is making up new voices and having fun with it. And that's why I do what I do, because I want you guys to have fun. And that's the whole point of this stuff. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think how to do it. <clears throat> And it's for just three words. Um. Good night, Iris. That's not squeezy. That's horrible. But he sounds, you know, god damn it. I changed my mind or regret all of this. Ryan laughs and tosses you the raccoon as he leaves. You've got mail. <laughs> Every time I hear that. Alone at last, you step into your room and kick off your shoes. Time to get some rest. You gingerly place the staffed raccoon on your bed before cha changing for the night. When you finally climb into bed, you're so tired you can barely move. What a day. Glint your eyes shut and try to breathe steadily, but you're overwhelmed with dread. What am I going to do? No matter what you do, you can't shake your fears about tomorrow. You roll on your side and stare at the stuffed raccoon. Trying to think about Ryan instead. I guess no matter what happens, some good came of this. Close your eyes again, and sleep finally comes. Your last thoughts as you drift away is Ryan's hands against your face and his lips on yours. Hmm. So, what do you think? What do you think they could do to save this horrible fiasco? What do you think they could do? I honestly don't know. I, it's kind of like the fiasco I'm having right now. So, for whatever bloody reason, I would have went with something else, but we'll go with bloody reason. Um, basically, Facebook has banned, at least for me, the gold image, the thumbnail. Um, I can post a video right now without the thumbnail to Facebook. However, if I put the Gold Rush image as the Facebook thing, it just gives me some crap about... It, it's just... It's always spamming the same message. Basically, I've tried sharing it in the groups. I've tried sharing it in 
p.m. I've tried it's something about URL something and it's no the URL is fine but like I said once I upload the thumbnail of Gold Rush you know the standard email or uh, thumbnail it gives me that message otherwise I can upload the uh, the video is fine I just don't understand and then if I change the thumbnails um basically mid uh, yeah it says can download could not retrieve data from URL which okay and then if I upload the UR or the uh, thumbnail typically what happens is it'll update after a while to anything you've posted on it'll update your thumbnail so then when that happens Facebook bans the, the link they're like you're spamming we have deleted this link and it's like what like that's that's the issue that I'm having and that's what I feel like that basically I thought I thought I'd bring it up because it's it's not exactly the issue they're going through but it's it's a something that no matter what you do you're screwed so yeah I mean that's about my best best you know tale to tell you right now that's that's about the best I have how about that um cash me outside okay so what that being said um oh so head down the description below links to social media our discord feelings to support me and my content if you did enjoy the video um please make sure to like share and or subscribe if you're already subscribed or you're going to subscribe please make sure to hit the little bell that's next to it uh so you'll receive notifications otherwise youtube and their new algorithm will not notify you of any and all content um that goes live especially when it's freshly updated and then also the fact that you 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 will probably never see a notification from my channel again that was literally a response that they had on twitter to someone who was a really big youtuber who has like 10 million subscribers they're like what the actual is going on and they're like well we feel like just people are dumb enough not to make their own decisions and they just subscribe for pointless reasons it's like what so apparently you f viewers are just idiots according to youtube i don't i don't know but literally i get so pissed off thinking about it i literally saved a little little screenshot of the tweet just to look at every once in a while and go you guys are pieces of just crap um <laughs> because youtube is just man i'll tell you it's just not the youtube it used to be but uh enough ranting without further ado thank you all for watching and i will catch you all in the next video peace